Hey guys, I Pokemon I here. Today I am going to do a quick video on five Yu-Gi-Oh regrets that I've made. Now this is the current time, it's 23.04. <sighs> on a Tuesday night, I have not made a video, so I'm hoping this will be good, or good enough to make a video. So, today I'm going to talk about five big Yu-Gi-Oh regrets that I've made. Um, it's pretty much in terms of uh, buying stuff and selling stuff, so far. And there's obviously a lot more regrets, but these are the ones that shout out to me. Um, and I'll probably think of more if this video, if you want to see what, what regrets I've made. So, I'm going to start with back in Photon Shockwave days. When Rescue Rabbit came out, I was like, cool, Rescue Rabbit's a pretty sick card. Let's uh, Rescue Rabbit, you banish, you summon two vanillas, and I think White Elephant's Gift could be played. So, I bought about 100 of them. It's alright, I bought 100. They were cheap, very very cheap, I was picking up play sets for less than a pound. But still, you, you can't just buy a card like that. And it wasn't hyped or anything, I just thought it would be a good idea to buy them. And I was like, oh gosh, what a good, what a good way to spend my hard earned cash. But oh well, that, that stuff happens. Uh, I do stuff. I have those white elephant gifts somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where they are. Now... Overpaying, or not even overpaying. When the structure deck um, pendulum came out, the Magician's Pendulum structure deck, I bought loads of Skull Crowbat Jokers, probably about 100, 150 Skull Crowbat Jokers. They were all about a pound each, about one pound to one pound fifty each. And I was selling play sets, I only sold four play sets for ten pounds. Now, a Super Rare came out, and then the card got hit. I think it might have been got hit and then the Super Rare came out. I think it was that. And then I was just like, oh my god. Well done, I poke. Well done, you stupid, stupid little boy. So yeah, that happened. I wasn't able to, sh I, won't, I wasn't able to shift them all. And I don't know where they all are. They're probably with my white elephant skiff, so with my failures for you again. Okay. Now, when Premium Gold 3 came out, I thought, wow, giant card, giant hand even, giant hand, um, Dvorak, there's a prize card that's surely going to be worth something one day. And I was quite shocked that giant hand, Dvorak crap anyway, but giant hand came out at such a cheap price, I was like, huh. Looked at my PayPal balance, it was like a couple hundred quid, I was like, I could probably buy some giant hands. So, I messaged my friend, I think I bought like 30 giant hands off him, and I went on eBay and started cleaning out eBay's UK market for giant hands. And then, they kept on getting lower in price, and I was like, oh, this is not good, is it? Let's just buy them. And then after I got like 50, 60 giant hands, I was like, oh, <laughs> what kind of crap is that? Like, what? Giant hand is a good card, but there are better rank fours out there. And luckily, I sold about half of them, made the money back. I am sitting on about 30. They are so cheap now, but you know what? You make losses in Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I would say I haven't done it recently, but Giant um, Premium Gold is a very recent release, so that happened last year, clearly. Actually, a lot of these have been recently, apart from the Joker and the White Elephant Gifts. So... When Dimension of Chaos Special Editions came out, you know, Ultimaya Token came out, I used to sell Ultimaya Tokens play sets for under five or each. That is just absolutely ridiculous to think of. <sighs> but it doesn't stop there. Um, I sold about 100 cards, so about 30 play sets, and then I, after I sold out, I kept on relisting it and relisting it. I did sell a hell of a lot of them. And um, obviously I regret it ever since because Ultima is around that price each, but it happens. And I'm going to tell you the biggest regret I made of last year. Teratops. Attack on Tom Bergs. I have them here somewhere, but it isn't, you know, exactly. Speed Roy Attack on Tom Berg. When you read that card, the card is absolute bollocks when you read it alone. When you read Teratop, the card is pretty bollocks if you read it alone. But, put them together, you get a free rank free. Free 
rank 3. I sold 3 of each card, so this card total 4. Wait for it. So, started at £2.90, I sold 10 of them, went up to 3 90 sold 10 of them, went up to 4 90 sold 10 of them, went up to 5 90 sold 30 of them. And then I kept on increasing the price every time I thought that, hang on, um, I'm the cheapest one on there. I was looking at foreign markets and stuff as well, obviously the card came out real cheap. And I must have sold about 150 play sets of Speedroid, Terratop and Tacom Tomberg. And I look at it now, and I think to myself, what an idiot. What an absolute idiot. Now, Tacom Tomberg is, I'm selling them for a fiver each now, I do have a couple left. Um, I, I did sell out pretty quickly of Terra Tops. The, the thing is, a while ago I bought a big collection like of relevant stock, a lot of high speed riders and stuff like that, and that all came in jank, you know, Terra Tops and Tekken Birds and like Stardust Spark Dragons and stuff. I got about 200 Stardust Spark Dragons. Just, I'm not going to make the stupid mistake of, you know, just selling it now. It's obviously, it should be worth something in the future, but like, I'm happy that I'm making this video because I can just slowly forget about these stupid things that I've done and just let you guys see the stupid things that I've done. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I poke my here. If you've done anything silly, probably not as silly as I have, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yes, I will see you guys later. And I hope this goes up today.